On behalf of Student Life and Leadership and the Women's and Adult Reentry Center, thank you for joining us today. Today we will be covering Consent 101, including the elements of consent. We will also learn more about the Campus Advocate and ways to connect with our Center for Resources and more. As Titans, we believe that every single person can play a role in preventing sexual and domestic violence and stalking. Our center addresses violence in two ways. First, through advocacy support services to anyone who's been impacted by these incidents in their life and through prevention education. Our ultimate goal is to reduce the number of people who are impacted by these crimes. This is the part in which you can play the greatest role. Learning more about these topics and sharing these resources with your organization can be a major contribution in keeping our campus community safe. We address issues related to sexual misconduct, which can include sexual assault, dating and domestic violence, and stalking. The root cause of these crimes is power and control. We are all taught from a young age various myths and misinformation about what causes these things to happen. We have to remember that at the core of this issue is the misuse of power and taking advantage of the ability to control another person. The opposite of exerting power and control is asking for and respecting consent. It is the responsibility of each person involved to ensure affirmative consent has been obtained from the other participant to engage in sexual activity. Consent means an informed, affirmative, conscious, voluntary, ongoing, and mutual agreement to engage in sexual activity. Let's break this down further. What does it mean to be informed? We think of this as the who, what, where, when, and how. Basically, do all parties involved understand, are aware of, and agree to the same partner or partners, the same acts, the same location, the same time, and the same way the sexual activity will take place. Everyone has different comfort levels, so being informed is the first step to safe, consensual, and enjoyable physical intimacy. Affirmative is pretty simple. It means receiving a yes from your partner. Therefore, a maybe, I'm not sure, or silence definitely means no. Let's talk about conscious. This means a person must be awake to make decisions about their body. If they're asleep or unconscious, that means consent is a no-go. This also certainly means that a person cannot give consent if they are incapacitated due to alcohol, drugs, or medication. So what about voluntary? Someone must be able to freely and willingly be able to agree to sexual activity. If they are coerced, like being persuaded to do something using manipulation, force, threats, or intimidation, then it is for sure not voluntary and it is for sure not consent. Consent is also an ongoing process. It can be given and taken away at any time, which means consent for one sexual activity is not consent for all activities. Also, consent on one occasion is not consent for all other occasions. And an existing relationship or past relationship does not imply consent. Basically, you need to have consent for every time, with every person, and in every way you want to engage in sexual activity. Finally, we have mutual. This just means that all participants involved must mutually agree to what's going on. And that's consent, y'all. As a leader in your organization and at CSUF at large, you may come across someone who needs support. The best way to support is by first listening and believing them. Remind them that it's not their fault and that they are not alone. It can also be helpful to refer them to resources like the Campus Advocate. The services a Campus Advocate provides are free and confidential and may help someone who isn't quite sure what their options are. An advocate can listen without judgment, provide someone with their options, and explain other resources and processes. Some of these services look like emotional support, 
support with reporting to law enforcement or Title IX if they choose, as well as safety planning, academic or personal accommodations, and referrals to campus or community resources. CSUF students, staff, and faculty members can make an appointment to meet with the campus advocate by visiting the link posted here. If folks are not sure they want to make an appointment or just want more information about our overall center programs and services, they can call us at this number or email us directly. To stay updated on how you can learn more about these topics and more about the Women's and Adult Reentry Center, follow us on social media. And reach out to us if you would like to request other presentations for your organization. Thanks for watching.